now it is getting a little interesting okay now we are going to talk about written functions from functions so just to roll back and see what we have done we said that okay we have a function to be assigned to a variable and then we said okay we'll put functions in an array then we said we'll pass functions to another functions and now you're talking about return functions for another function so let's go ahead and do this I'm declaring a function here by name random f or random function which would uh, use a math.random so it will run math.random and if math.random uh, would return uh, less than 0.5 then it will return the function square else it will return double if you do not know what math.random is uh, there's a there's a function in the math object that returns values between 0 to 5 okay let me just take this and uh, put it there on the console uh, what you can do is before we run this we will have to check what is math.random so I want to show you what is math.random so in the math you have so many in the math object you have so many functions and properties that are available so let's let's go ahead in this object I'll use math.random okay and if I call math.random I'll invoke it it gives certain value and notice that every time it's different right every time I call it it's a different value see 0.66 I'm not even invoking it if I do invoke it gets a value and every time it's a different value right <coughs> so this is what math.random is and now I'm declaring a function could have given it any name I'm giving it random f now if math.random is less than 0.5 you know this, this is the number this is 0 0.2 0 0.1 and but this is 0.6 this is greater than 0.5 right so when I call this function random f and if the value of math.random is less than 0 0.5 then it will return the function square it assumes that we have already defined square and double okay so I will go ahead and uh, <coughs> describe this function so this function is ready I will call random f I will invoke it okay if I don't do that know that it is only getting me the definition back so if I invoke it it gives me the function square if I invoke it again it's like square again again a square but now it's double so this time I think uh, if you look at the function definition it is less than 0.5 then it is square if it is greater than uh, or equal to 0.5 it is double so I this time it is I'm running it yeah this is returning square okay but this is how you can have a function return a function let's go ahead and see what more interesting stuff we can do inside it now let's call it what we'll do is we will have random f assigned to a variable right let's go ahead and do that so I will have a variable let me clear this up I have a variable and var I'll say my f or any anything and is assigned random f okay I invoke it and it is assigned to my f so what is my f let me check what oh it got double right so let me check my f again it's double right let me call my f it's not a number so what could I do I'll go ahead and check here that uh, first I can call my f with a parameter okay I have done this now this time I'll call it is already defined right so my f let me clear that I'll have my f with say 9 okay it returned 18 that means it was double right and if I say my f 9 again it's again a double again a double why is it that it is never returning a square right if I do random f and I call let's say with 9 again yeah I have a random f how do you invoke a random f it returns double of this right so before doing this one I'm going to actually this is look, look look at this statement you have a random f and it returned this function right and to this you can call so how will you call random f directly so to do that my f and I'll call random f and then to that I will pass something 
right? Now this is where things will get a little complicated. You may be wondering what is happening. Let, let me let me go ahead and do this a few times. Okay, okay. Every time, okay. Here you see it's double now. It's not. It's it's a double. It's a square. It's a double. It's a square. So when I call random f. Let me get you the function once again. Random f. Okay, this is the function. If mat.random returns less than 0.5, it's a square, otherwise it's a double. And it always returns a function, right? So if I just do this, uh, random f, I invoke it, it will return a function. Now this function needs a parameter. Okay, so what I do is I call this random f. Okay, it returns a function and now that needs a parameter, so I pass something. So I, this time it was double, it's double, it's square. Okay, this practice this for some time and after this I have another question. Okay, you can pause this video or uh, you can uh, do it later. What I want to do now is look at this. <coughs> now I want to call my f after this definition I want to call my f and the question is what is the value returned by my f? Which function is returned? Right, so let's go here. <coughs> I'll have uh, my f is already there, right? So let me do it again, bar my f is assigned random f, okay? Now this my f, if I, if I call my f, it got square. Why is it that my f is always getting a square? Now it's double. And once I do it, it's double. I invoke my f again, it's double. My f is double, it's double. No matter how many times I try, my f is double until I recall random f, right? I've done this random f, so let me call my f, it is square. Once it's square, it is. it continues to be square. Okay, this is a question for you to resolve. You have to answer why it happens so. That once you call, once you call this, right using this random f later on my f will always be either a square or or double why is it that it doesn't change randomly after this call okay uh, the answer to this i'll probably post in the next video or probably in a blog i'll share it you need to run it and let me know why do you why is it that my f if it is run repeatedly like this it is always a square, it doesn't go to double or if it is double, it is always a double. See you in the next video.